Hi, it's Kana. Welcome back to my closet. And I'm here for another weekly makeup basket. Keep it, pan it, toss it. I think this is number 15. <laughs> it's getting up there. All right, so let's go ahead and start with my uh, keep it stuff over here. Okay, let's start with this um, Orly nail polish. There it is. It is in the color Rosy Coral Cream. And when I went to get my nails done, for some reason, I had taken this out of my bag and I got there and I didn't have the color. And so I ended up with um, one of theirs, which is pretty cool. But I mean, I like it, but it's not opaque enough for me. So, but on that note, it's time for me to get my nails done again. and. I just want to kind of go away from this color for a minute, so that one's going to get put back for now. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and put back this pure Mineral Glow bronzer. This stuff is really, really nice. So yeah, I do really enjoy this. It's got like a really nice glow to it. I'll swatch it for you. Let's see. It's weird because it's like kind of chunky in the pan, but it's not, it's super smooth. It's got this like really nice sheen to it. There, that's a pretty good swatch. I went over that a couple times, so it blends out nicely though. So um, yeah, it's a good color for me um, and it's really pretty and I love this, so it stays. And next are these two Laura Geller blushes that I got. So this one's pink buttercream and this is pink grapefruit and these are so so pretty i'm not super into the packaging it's weird it's a little weird like these are not cheap <laughs> and the packaging is not super great so yeah but anyways i'll swatch these because they're very pretty. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so the top one is the pink buttercream and the bottom is pink grapefruit. So I'll just do them again. Get you a good idea of what the colors are. That's what they look like. And I really love these. They are very powdery, like super super pigmented which i'm fine with but yeah be careful going in with these but i do love them and i'm really glad i got these i got these on the 21 days of ulta sale so i basically got two for the price of one not sorry yeah what else oh okay so i have this uh urban decay lipstick vice lipstick in fuel and I've got this uh, Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy. I don't even know. Spice Girl, yeah. So those are going back. So that's it for that. Next is the um, Pan It. Think about that for a second. So it's the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, I like these, they're fine. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them. They're just very small and I think I could use them up easily. So I could just get these little tiny things out of here. So I'm just gonna keep them in the pan it section. Okay, now if you saw my drop 10 before summer, then you probably already know that I have decided to go ahead and declutter this temp to uh, shimmer bronzer because it's a liquid bronzer and it's just not a form that I appreciate and want to use so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and give this to somebody who cares maybe we'll see so there's that I have this YSL black opium perfume sample and it was quite nice um, it's not my favorite like I remembered liking it more but it's fine. I like it. I like it a lot. But um, 
honestly, I think. So I went into Ulta and the Mac guy was like, walked by me and I was like, oh my God, what is that? So he had told me that he sprayed Gucci Bloom and Gucci Guilty, mixed the two. And so now I've been doing that. So now I'm kind of obsessed with that. Every time I go in there, I just get one of each. And yeah, so I might have to invest in some Gucci Guilty. I have some bloom somewhere. But anyway, uh, yeah, so YSL Black Opium. Pretty good, really like it. It's gone, so I'm gonna throw this away. Okay, what is next? Oh, some of you might not like this, but it is what it is, you know? It's gonna be a surprise. It's an interesting basket this week. So I don't know if any of y'all saw my, um, using my lipsticks, but I have this Girlactic Matte Lip Paint, and uh, this is in the color Posh, I believe, or no. What is this? Yeah. Yeah, it's in the color Posh. Um, and you can see through the little window right here what color it is. And I'm sure that a lot, it's, it's a very common color. I have a lot of that color. And I just, I don't need another liquid lipstick in this color family. I don't need another liquid lipstick anyway, unless it's really special. So it's brand new, never been swatched. Gonna give it to somebody else. And on that note, I got this in a boxy charm a while, like a little what, couple months ago maybe. So that's where that came from. So on that note, I did open this to see what it was, because there's no way to see through the box, but it's a desk, a desk, and it is, it's a lip, liquid lipstick. It's in, again, in a color like that. I don't even know what color this is. Yeah. Is there a name? Oh yeah, no, there's no name on this. I looked and looked and looked. So yeah, there's no name. It's a liquid lipstick from Adesse. It's, I'm sure it's lovely. I'm not gonna open it. I'm not gonna swatch it. It's going with the Girlactic liquid lipstick. Um, yeah, to somebody who cares. Really figuring out what I like and what I'm just not that into. And, um, and I just don't see the point in keeping things around that I really don't enjoy and that gets shoved to the back of the drawer kind of a thing. So off they go. BoxyCharm really did not <laughs> excite me this month because I also got, is this even open? Yeah. I also got this Tardis Pro Glow and there it is. It's, you know, I'm sure it's fine once again, but I have a bunch of stuff like this. So it's gone. On that note, let me just say, I also got a palette in my BoxyCharm from ColourPop. You had me at hello, see this? Um, interesting little factoid. If you look at this, you see the lights on the top? If you look, in here, there's a sticker on the back with the color names, and that's definitely a sticker because look how crooked it is. And then there's a sticker right here on the front. And you see these, like, we know what that, that's Kathleen Lights. I don't know what happened. I'm not gonna speculate. But um, if you peel these little stickers up, it was a collab that never happened. It says Kathleen Lights X Color Pop. So yeah, and then the original color names are on the back here underneath this sticker. Just a little tidbit, little interesting factoid for you. <laughs> but anyway, let's open this up because how exciting. I've never tried an eyeshadow uh, from ColourPop. The only thing I ever have tried of theirs is lipsticks. So I was like, okay, cool. Like, I hope I get the My Little Pony. That would be really fun. And I got this. Wah, wah, wah. I mean, look at this. Really, it's like six golds and six browns. Y'all know I'm not I'm not into these colors. Maybe this one. And maybe this one. 
but who I I have those. I'm super. There's six golds. I I I don't really like gold. This is not the palette to try color pop. So sorry about that flash there. So yeah, I won't be touching this. I will be leaving this alone. There will be no swatching. There will be no fingers in it. I will be putting this right back in the box and ditching it because as much as I would really like to try ColourPop, I don't, I don't see the point in digging my fingers into this or brushes and um, I'm, I'm not gonna want it. I have enough of these colors. Um, so it's just not exciting. So ColourPop, I mean, BoxyCharm, three out of five products that were like, meh, see ya. It's cool, I'm not mad. You know, like, I have no complaints about that. Because honestly, I'm um, just putting those away. Honestly, I got two products that I'm fine with and one of them was like $59, so I can't complain, but somebody will be happy with those three items. It's just not me. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be fun. I have gotten a few new things, maybe a couple, oh, okay, a few, a few, more than two. So let's get into what's going into my basket, which is very empty over here, except for my project pan items. But yeah, there's, there is nothing else in there. <laughs> My project pan items. Anyway, so what's going in there is gonna be, let's start with this guy. This is my um, Urban Decay Jean-Michel Basquiat collab. This is the um, face palette from that. I will show it to you. Folds all the way back, lovely artwork. Has these two really beautiful blushes and a highlighter and a bronzer over here. They're all really, really nice. So yeah, I haven't used this in a while since I've been doing this whole um, makeup basket deal. So I really want to play with this for a while. So kind of exciting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a, uh, what is it? X-rated. Yeah. Noho X-rated uh, Jawbone and Now is the Time is the names of the colors in here. So this should be really fun. And I have another palette. It is the Sephora Contour Blush Palette. And this is, um, <laughs> I was so happy to get this, but this is the, uh, this is the Spice Market Blush Palette from the Sephora brand. So let me just show it to you because it's very pretty. I've been lusting after this for a very long time. And when the VIB sale happened, I was like, you know what? I'm getting it. It's been in my basket for months. So, and I've touched it in the store a million times. <laughs> this is what it looks like. You can see that. They're so pretty. I cannot wait to dip into this. I just, mm, yum. I really, like I said, I've been really wanting to get my hands on this for a long time. So I'm really happy that I did. And I'm really gonna enjoy playing with that. So yeah, I've got two face palettes going into this weekly makeup basket should be fun. I'm excited. Okay. Also something that I had in my basket forever and I really, really wanted. I've been working on my other setting sprays to get rid of them so I could use this. It's the uh, Kate Somerville. It's like an SPF 50. You can see here. So it's SPF 50 uh, setting spray. And this is genius because you put your sunscreen on and then you put your makeup on and then by the time you're done with your makeup in a half hour you have to reapply your sunscreens. <laughs> oh, that is stupid. So this is going to be my reapplying of my sunscreen. It's SPF 50. I can put it on my makeup. It helps my makeup stay. It's not like one of those powders that's going to cake up on me. 
So I'm so excited to have this because I do not go without my sunscreen. So, yay. Okay, what else is going? <sighs> Very excited about this. I got the uh, NYX um, Glazed and Confused uh, Eyeshadow Cream Eyeshadow in um, Bad Blood a while back and I loved it so, so much. And when I saw that they finally had these in the store, I needed to have them. I was gonna order them online, but I got them all with like a 350 off coupon, so that was cool. And it's in uh, Toxic. And what the hell is this one called again? Maybe if it wasn't upside down. Oh yeah, okay. So it's in Toxic and Dirty Talk. Yeah, this one's like a kind of an eggplant color. And this one's like a really nice like gray kind of oily color. So I'm excited to play with these. Very excited. And on that note, I actually thought that this pigment would be really fun to go with that because I thought that, you know, I could use this because this is like a purple pigment. I don't know if you can see it. It's a Micha and Mia purple. You see that? So it doesn't look purple in here, but you know, let's see. Yeah. So I don't have, I haven't opened this yet, but if you look where the holes are in the sifter, you can tell that it's definitely purple. So I got this in like a Ipsy or something. So I'm gonna play with this and I thought it would be really cool with these just to kind of tap it in on the lid or something like that. We'll see, it might be fun. And to go with that, I thought if I'm gonna play with pigments, I'll bring my Duraline in and uh, play with this too. So uh, can you see it? It's the Inglot Duraline. Um, like a little mixing medium so this stuff is awesome but I'll more on that next time so I also want to bring in uh, this rhodial it's a smoky eye pen from rhodial in black so it's just a black eyeliner to see if that's any good you know just test it out I have a lot of eyeliners in my stash over here for my project pan. So I'm just gonna, you know, play with that a little bit and see if I like it. And I'm also gonna go ahead and uh, bring in this 24-7 uh, lip pencil in Ozone from Urban Decay. It's the one that has no color. So it's like a reverse liner. So this should be fun. I can actually use this to play with like some of the really dark lipsticks like really vampy stuff to keep it um, from bleeding outside of my lips. So I really wanna give this a test and see how it works with that. So I'll be bringing that in. I'm gonna be bringing in this, uh, I don't even know what it's called, Defy and Inspire. See that? Focus, focus. So yeah, I'm gonna bring in this new nail polish that I got. Um, just at Target. It was like a new brand I never heard of and the colors are really unique and interesting. So I'm gonna bring this one in. It's um, Ironically enough, this is called chopping block. So Kind of what this project is, but yeah, I thought it was like a really interesting kind of mauve but not even mauve mauve whatever you want to say but not even that because it's like it's not brown it's gray so it's like a gray lavender yeah i'm super into this so i'm gonna try this out and then last but not least i have this um omnia coral i think is it what it is is that what it is yeah this omnia coral perfume so I'm gonna bring that in and let me just, let me just smell it. Uh-oh, don't give me one of these. I hate when the stupid things don't work. Yeah, I'm kind of digging this. It has like a really, it's almost fruity, but it's like, this seems like a really good like spring scent. So this will be cool, yeah. So Omnia Coral, bringing that in for the week. 
and wow that is a lot of stuff to bring in <laughs> I'm bringing in a lot of new things so um, there will be more to come I just have to say uh, I I will be buying a lot of things this month it's crazy well and into May 5th like that'll be my last day I think of the things that I'm waiting for um, Kat Von D came out with her um, brow products and I resisted I didn't buy any of those they're not like limited edition so I mean I say that and I'm pretty sure that's true um, so I didn't feel like I needed to have it so um, you know we'll see I, I, I'll think about it but there are some other things that are coming out um, that I'm definitely gonna drop some money on and I'm very excited for them um, so probably after that I won't be buying anything for a little while <laughs> we'll see okay anyway that is it for this week uh, for my weekly makeup basket and I will see you guys next time. Bye!